Children in the United States spend an average of 7.5 hours on entertainment media per day, while averaging only 12.6 minutes of outdoor activity per day. How did we arrive here? Following is a brief history of the correlation between entertainment media technology and time spent outdoors by children. In the radio age of the 1920s to the 1940s, families gathered around the radio to listen to weekly installments of their favorite shows. Children worked with their families in the garden and had free, unsupervised access to the woods, creeks, and other wild places near their homes. In the TV age from the 1950s to the 1970s, children's outdoor experiences were influenced by post-war prosperity, riding new bicycles unfettered around their neighborhoods and visiting national parks on road trips in the family station wagon. Media was a shared experience in the ages of radio and television. Children's freedom to go outdoors unsupervised was commonplace. The Walkman age of the 1980s was a symbolic turning point. Media consumption became an individual pursuit, and the technology allowed users to mask the ambient sounds of their surroundings. In the internet age of the 1990s and 2000s, children spent more time connected to the web through personal devices and spent less time outdoors. In the social media age of the 2010s, children's connection to social media increasingly influenced their perceived reality. Free-range parents made the news when they were arrested for letting their kids walk to the park or play outdoors unattended. In one lifetime, free-range kids went from being the norm to being radical. Biophobia became the new norm. But could the apps age of the 2020s reverse this alienation from the outdoors? New apps are promising. The Picture This app helps users identify plants with the snap of a photo. The Merlin Bird ID app by Cornell Lab does the same for identifying birds. As technology improves exponentially, the 2020s promise radical new apps to get kids outdoors. Five of these are being piloted in a trial by students at Yuba Environmental Science Charter Academy. Data is still being analyzed, but anecdotal evidence suggests these apps keep kids engaged in outdoor activities for extended periods of time. Better than artificial intelligence, said one trial participant. More real than virtual reality, said another. These five apps are biologically embedded and neurologically programmed. The first is LAVE, Light Activated Visual Experience. The second is VASE, Vibrational Activated Sound Experience. The third is PATE, Pressure Temperature Activated Touch Experience. The fourth is FATE, Food Activated Taste Experience. The fifth is FASE, Fragrance Activated Smell Experience. Trial administrators note that the best results are achieved when these five apps are used outdoors. App developers at Five Senses Tech remind users that the relationship between media technology and time spent outdoors by children does not have to be a matter of cause and effect. There is always a choice. This is reflected in their hashtag, Kids Outdoors. <laughs>